Hey guys, 420 Scene here. Hope everyone's having a super stony day. Let me know what you're talking on and where you're watching the video from. I always like to know. Drop a like, subscribe, and if you want access to my secret unlisted videos, check us out on Patreon. I'm gonna have the link in the upper right hand corner over here. So if you like look up, like you're gonna see it. So last week I came out with a poll. Well, I mean, actually it was a few days ago, but because we upload about a week in advance, it's technically gonna be about a week, but you get what I'm saying. You guys were running a poll about about whether or not you wanna see strain reviews, if I'm able to actually wing it. I found out a way where I can get away with doing them, so that's something else you guys can expect as an additional branch of the channel, I guess you can say. We're probably gonna do them maybe like once every two or three weeks. I still like to mix it up with the videos that I make for you guys, kinda of just keep it interesting. So today we're gonna to be talking about the top three easiest soil mixes so you can get started. And I know some people in the comment section have said that, oh, you know, I regurgitate some of the old videos that I made, but a lot of the old videos that I made were maybe a year or even two years ago and we have a lot of new people that aren't trying to go through hundreds of videos just to find that one that they're looking for so I figured you know what let's just make this video there's some things I haven't talked about before that I want to mention in the video because maybe you guys haven't seen me talk about whatever it is I'm gonna be talking about I hope that made sense let's start off with number three down to earth it's not gonna be the same thing that you guys are thinking about you know down to earth I'm not doing this in order of importance or anything like that pretty much it's just an order Order of what kind of came to my head first. As far as down to earth, I've already made my super soil mix. And if you're interested in watching that, I'm going to put the video link in the pin message at the bottom. So with down to earth, if you're looking for a super easy mix, just to get yourself out there, what you can do is when you first transplant going into the vegetative stage is mix in about two tablespoons per gallon of soil ratio of the all purpose. And I use about 20% worm castings all mixed in with ProMix HP. That's my own personal blank soil of choice. Everybody's different, that's just what I use. Now before we get into the flowering stage on what you're gonna need, let's talk about the all-purpose from down to earth a little bit more. And the reason I like the all-purpose from down to earth is because it has a lot of the stuff that I already use in my own custom super soil mix. Like it's got fish bone meal, it's got blood meal. I don't use blood meal, but like that is an option as well. You know, it's got feather meal, alfalfa meal, rock phosphate. I also don't use rock phosphate. As far as getting my calcium in there, instead of using that rock phosphate, which you can use, because it's got a decent amount of calcium in there. You know, you can use the rock basalt dust, I believe, from Gaia Green. You can also use oyster shell or crab meal. And if you really want to get super organic on me, you could also get crushed up eggshells. I mean, crushed up to a fine powder. That'll work too to get your calcium intake. The All Purpose also has kelp meal and langbionite, two amendments that I use in my custom super soil mix anyway. I mean, it's a pretty good mix and it has a little bit of everything. Oh, I promise you, I'm not lighting up or anything like that. No, 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 no. I wouldn't do that now, would I? During the flowering stage, you can use the rose and flower mix. And if you're transplanting into just a straight up new mix for the flowering stage, you could just mix in two tablespoons per gallon of soil, or you can just simply just top dress with one tablespoon per gallon of soil once a month. Of course, after your one month is up on your initial mix with the all purpose, if you're trying to stay in veg just even a little bit longer, then just follow the same application rate, which is gonna be one tablespoon per gallon of soil of top dress. In case, you know, you're not trying to get into flower right away, like if you're trying to stay in veg and you're kind of confused on what should you do after your first mix. I mean, by all means, if you're trying to veg for like three months, the same rules are gonna apply. You know, once a month, you're just gonna top dress one tablespoon per gallon of soil ratio mix. Whew, how do I say all that in one breath? And if you're wondering if you should add more worm castings, I generally don't. Like the reason I add about 20% for my initial mix is because I kind of want to transition my young ladies so they can get like the full amendments. You know what I mean? It's like a stepping stone. That's pretty much what I use the worm castings as. I feel like worm castings are just really forgiving and it's a great way to transition your ladies into, you know, getting the full-fledged feedings. I mean, by all means, if you want to do it differently, then you can add the worm castings later on if you'd like. I'm just telling you what I would do and what I wouldn't do. My way is, it's just my way. Trust me, there's more than one ways to do this, guys. All right, now let's talk about mix number two, Gaia Green. And yes, I made videos on it. This mix is fairly similar to the Down the Earth mix that we talked about, but there is a little little bit, you know, a little variation, a little bit of a difference here. Instead of mixing two tablespoons per gallon of soil, you're going to be mixing three tablespoons per gallon of soil. I did it this way and I've always been happy with the results that I got. So three tablespoons per gallon of soil for the all purpose when you start it out. And then you can just go on ahead and use the power bloom during the flowering stage. <sighs> 
I'm pretty baked, guys. Like, I literally just caught myself slurring my own words. Anyway, like I was saying, we're talking about the guy agreeing. Of course, you can still add the 20% of worm castings, but that's all you really need to do. I don't want to really get crazy into the guy agreeing because, I mean, I've talked about it in, in a lot of my other videos, but, I mean, we could still talk about the amendments that are in guy agreeing. I feel like I haven't touched base on that for too much. Honestly, I've always been a fan of guy agreeing. I think it's equal to down the earth. Like, I don't think guy Green is better than down the earth, but I also don't think down the earth is better than Gaia Green. I literally put, like, I literally put them right next to each other on the same playing field. It's just a matter of preference on what you like to use and also what's available to you because I know some people can't really get their hands on the Gaia Green and some people believe it or not, can't get their hands on some of the down the earth products, even on Amazon, just because people live far away from the shops. And like I said, some people can't order certain things. Like for example, Langbionite's another one. I've had some people just tell me that they're not able to order Langbionite. And guess what? That's perfectly okay because you can get your potassium in multiple other ways. I mean, molasses has potassium. You guys could still try out and use the banana tea if you haven't tried that out yet. It's got some potassium in it. And for some reason, everybody that used my banana tea recipe, their ladies have always been super happy afterwards. Call it bro science, call it whatever the fuck you want. If it works, it works. I really like Gaia Green because it's fairly close to the all-purpose down the earth. I know I mentioned that before. I'm trying to kind of reiterate a little bit more, kind of dive a little bit deeper. Like both of them, they got the feather meal, right? They both got alfalfa meal. They both got bone meal, blood meal, rock phosphate. You know, there's a few different amendments that are in Gaia Green that aren't going to be in down the earth. And, you know, obviously vice versa. I know insect frass is not in down the earth from my understanding. Like I don't, I don't recall seeing insect frass, but guy green has, it. but just because one brand has something that another brand doesn't have, don't forget that other brand might be substituting with something else and you're still gonna get the micro or macronutrients, whatever the amendment we're talking about is. So like I said, it doesn't make one better than the other. It's just different. Because I mean, at the end of the day, as long as you got your macro and micronutrients, it doesn't really matter. As long as you got a solid mix of what your ladies need, that, that, that's all that matters, right? Like for example, let's take calcium, right? Down the Earth has some oyster shell with the rock phosphate, so it's got a little bit more calcium in there, but a lot of the amendments can be substituted with something else. Let's take nitrogen, for example. Nitrogen is a really good example of this because there's so many different things that you can use to get your nitrogen in there, right? So blood meal has nitrogen. Feather meal has nitrogen. Heck, bat guano has nitrogen. Worm castings has nitrogen in it. Coffee grounds has nitrogen in it. Like, there's so many different things that you can use to get your nitrogen intake. Like I was saying, there's different ways to get it done. It's not like if your shop doesn't have blood meal, oh, well, you know, what am I supposed to do? There's always alternative amendments that you can give your ladies what they need. Now, let's talk about the number one final mix that doesn't necessarily make it better. It's just my number one before we wrap up today's video. If you're into using a lot of the pre mix stuff, Fox Farm O. Ocean Forest has a lot of really good stuff already in it, and I know what you're thinking, oh, it's gonna be another fox farm type of thing. No, 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 it's gonna be a little bit different this time. What's good about Ocean Forest, and it's actually really good, especially if you're trying to slowly get yourself into the custom super soil game, you're gonna have to add in some Langbionite because a few weeks after you transplant your ladies into the Ocean Forest, you're gonna start to see some yellowing around the edges of your leaves, and that's gonna be potassium deficiency, 100%. Yeah, that's the one fuck up about Ocean Forest, just because you're missing one amendment, that doesn't automatically mean I'm passing it off as trash. I know people like to misconstrue certain things. But anyway, like I was saying, that's really the one problem. You know, there's really not much there for potassium. I mean, yeah, you have some bad guano, you got worm castings, but it's still not enough to get you through. So you can top dress three tablespoons per gallon of soil of Langbionite. I think the NPK ratio of Langbionite is like 0, 0, 0,022. Yeah, it's got a lot of potassium in it. So your ocean forest mix should be good for about five weeks weeks, give or take, then obviously you're going to have to start top dressing. And I've noticed that after about five weeks, that's when I would normally have to start top dressing. That's why I said give or take, because it can be four weeks, it can be five weeks. You know, it, it really depends on your run and it really depends on you guys, because I'm sure that the ratio is not 100% the same in every single bag. Now I'm saying there's like a lot of different options out there. You know, you can go back, you know, you can start with that ocean forest mix with the Langbionite and then guess what? You can switch it up. You can go to the like 
the down the earth, the rose and flower mix. You can go with the Gaia Green Power Bloom. You know, there's so many options out there. And of course there are other brands out there. It's just, you know, down the earth and Gaia Green is kind of what we're talking about. It's, it's like the first thing I think of that pops into my head. You know, it's just always been my favorite too. So that's kind of why I just mentioned it. You can also go straight up and transplant into strawberry fields. And you know, whenever you get into the flowering stage, like if you're trying to get into a bigger container, you know, that's gonna be another option that you guys have. So like I said, guys, there are multiple ways to do this. And these three soil mixes, in my opinion, are probably the easiest for the beginner to just kind of get into it without knowing too much. So that way you can start to at least pay attention to the amendments that are in your mixes. And I think that's gonna go a long way. I think the biggest problem that a lot of beginners have, and I've noticed this on Patreon, I've, you know, VIP members have been asking me what's going on with your ladies. Once you start to learn how to identify deficiencies and once you start really learning about the amendments and what they're good for, I think that's probably gonna be the biggest bulk of knowledge that you can, I mean, ever gain in horticulture by, by far. Like I'm talking about as far as the level of importance, knowing what amendments do what and learning deficiencies are probably gonna be the biggest things. I mean, the biggest things that I can ever teach you. And I have a lot of videos about organic gardening and the different amendments that you need. And of course, if you have any other questions, you could always hit me up on Discord. You can always hit me up on Patreon and I would be more than happy to help you guys out. So all you beginners out there, I hope this video helped you out and even maybe some of you veterans that have been doing this for a while, maybe I helped you learn something new about organic gardening and the amendments that you need or you know what, even maybe like an extra super soil mix or just even the pre-mix soil mix that I was talking about with the, you know, combining the down the earth with the ocean forest, like with the Lang B and I, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe there's a mix that I talked about that you just want to try out even if you've been doing this for a long time. I don't know, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So before we close off today's video, I want to thank everyone on screen for supporting us on Patreon. I really appreciate the love and support. So I'm going to close out today's video. Be sure to drop a fat thumbs up, drop that fat like, and subscribe for more content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, stay safe. Peace.